Welcome once again in this session, we are reading 1 Peter chapter 5, Suffering as the Church. Therefore I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and who will also share in the glory that will be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God, which is among you, exercising the oversight, not under compulsion, but voluntarily, not for dishonest gain, but willingly, not as lording it over those entrusted to you, but making yourselves examples to the flock. When the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the crown of glory that doesn't fade away. Likewise, you younger ones, be subject to the elder. Yes, for, quote, God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. And that is found in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34. Everybody wants to lay claim to the grace of God. But it says here, there is a condition. You must be humble. You must put away all pride. It says that God resists the proud. That word resist in its original Greek denotes setting up in battle, in a battle array, like as in a war. So if you are proud, you have pride in your heart, God, according to this scripture, is at war with you, sets himself up in battle array against you. Verse 6, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your worries on him, because he cares for you. Be sober and self-controlled. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Withstand him steadfast in your faith, knowing that your brothers who are in the world are undergoing the same sufferings. But may the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a little while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Through Silvanus, our faithful brother, as I consider him, I have written to you briefly, exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God in which you stand. She who is in Babylon, chosen together with you, greets you. So does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a kiss of love. Peace be to all of you who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. As always, seek God with all your heart and you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.